Phoenix City is a city in Lee and Russell counties in the state of Alabama, and the county seat of Russell County. As of the 2010 census, the population of the city was 32,822. Phoenix City lies immediately west across the Chattahoochee River from much larger Columbus, Georgia. Sometimes called Hub City, most of Phoenix City is included in the Columbus Metropolitan Statistical Area, but a section is located in Lee County, and is therefore in the Auburn, Alabama Metropolitan Statistical Area. The entire city is part of the columbus auburn Opelika Combined Statistical Area. In 2007, Businessweek named Phoenix City the nation's number one best affordable suburb to raise a family. Currently, the mayor is Eddie N. Lowe, the city's first black mayor elected by the public. The city manager, who holds the task of organizational matters, is Wallace Hunter. <laughs> Geography Phoenix City is located at 32 degrees 28 minutes 22 seconds north 85 degrees 1 minute 12 seconds west 32.472822, minus 85.0201211. It is the easternmost settlement in the state of Alabama as well as the Central Time Zone, but it and some other nearby areas unofficially observe Eastern Time, as these areas are part of the metropolitan area of the considerably larger city of Columbus, Georgia, which is in the Eastern Time Zone. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 24.8 square miles, 64 square kilometers, of which 24.6 square miles, 64 square kilometers, is land and 0.2 square miles, 0.52 square kilometers, 0.61% is water. Topic: <inaudible> Climate. The climate in this area is characterized by relatively high temperatures and evenly distributed precipitation throughout the year. According to the Köppen climate classification system, Phoenix City has a humid subtropical climate abbreviated CFA on climate maps. History What some claim was the last battle of the Civil War took place in Phoenix City, then known as Girard. What is Phoenix City today initially began as two towns bordering each other on the north and south. On the south side was Girard, in Russell County, and the town of Brownville, on the north side, which was entirely within Lee County. Because a community in Tuscaloosa County already claimed the name of Brownville, the post office insisted on the name of Lively. To compound the confusion, the nearby railroad depot was called Knight Station. Because residents preferred Brownville, on the 1880 U.S. Census, it was listed as both Brownville and Lively. It was formally incorporated by the legislature on February 23, 1883. Within the decade, the name would be changed to Phoenix or Phoenix City, although some misspellings had it as Phoenix. It was not clear if it was named for Phoenix Mills in adjacent Columbus, Georgia, or for the fabled bird. It appeared as Phoenix City on the 1890 U.S. Census and was incorporated as such on February 19, 1897, by the state legislature. On August 9, 1923, Russell County's neighboring Girard which made up most of current downtown Phoenix City and Lee County's Phoenix City formally merged, keeping the name of Phoenix City. Because the consolidated city still remained divided into two counties, in 1932, the Lee County portion was moved entirely into Russell County also cited for the redraw was to account for population shifts involved in the Auburn University opening and expansion. Lee County received the rural segment centered on Marvin as compensation, which was formerly in Russell County's northwest corner. In 1926, the Russell County portion of Phoenix City was designated the second county seat the seat from 1868 had been at Rural Seal. In 1934–35, Phoenix City then became sole county seat. Phoenix City was notorious during the 1940s and 1950s for being a haven for organized crime, prostitution, and gambling. Many of its customers came from the United States Army Training Center at Fort Benning, Georgia. The leaders of the crime syndicate in Phoenix City were Jimmy Matthews and Hoyt Shepard. 
Albert Patterson, from Phoenix City, was elected to become Attorney General of Alabama on a platform of reforming the city, but was shot and killed in 1954 outside his office on Fifth Avenue, end of 14th Street. As a result, the city had a negative reputation, and many people still associate this legacy with Phoenix City. The Tragedy and the Triumph of Phoenix City, Alabama by Margaret Ann Barnes chronicles these events, which led the small town to be known as, "...Sin City, USA". The border town was the subject of an acclaimed film, The Phoenix City Story, made in 1955. In 1955, it won the All-America City Award from the National Municipal League. Curiously, despite the city having been entirely annexed into Russell County in 1932, the growth of the city has spread northward back into Lee County, where it first appeared on 1980 U.S. Census records. As of 2010, nearly 4,200 residents out of almost 33,000 reside in the Lee County portion, almost exactly the same number that lived in Phoenix City in 1910, which was then entirely in Lee County. Topic: <inaudible> Religion. Phoenix City is home to many Christian churches. The denominations include Protestantism Baptist Southern Baptist Convention United Methodist Church and other Methodist denominations Seventh-day Adventist Roman Catholicism The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints Demographics <inaudible> 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 As of the census of 2000, there were 28,265 people, 11,517 households, and 7,566 families residing in the city. The population density was 1,149.1 people per square mile .6 per square kilometers. There were 13,250 housing units at an average density of 538.7 per square miles per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the city was 52.94% white, 44.97% black or African American, 0.23% Native American, 0.53% Asian, 0.02% Pacific Islander, 0.56% from other races, and 0.76% from two or more races. 1.49% of the population were Hispanic or Latino of any race. There were 11,517 households out of which 31.7% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 39.4% were married couples living together, 22.1% had a female householder with no husband present, and 34.3% were non-families, 30.4% of all households were made up of individuals and 11.5% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.40 and the average family size was 2.99. In the city, the population was spread out with 26.3% under the age of 18, 9.6% from 18 to 24, 28.7% from 25 to 44, 21.2% from 45 to 64, and 14.2% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 35 years. For every 100 females, there were 86.2 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 80.4 males. The median income for a household in the city was $26,720, and the median income for a family was $33,740. Males had a median income of $28,906 versus $21,348 for females. The per capita income for the city was $14,619. About 18.8% .8 of families and 21.3% of the population were below the poverty line, including 29.5% of those under age 18 and 20.6% of those age 65 or over. Topic: 2010 Census. 
As of the census of 2010, there were 32,822 people, 13,243 households, and 8,623 families residing in the city. The population density was 1,334.2 people per square mile, 515.3 per square kilometers. There were 15,198 housing units at an average density of 617.8 per square miles, 238.6 per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the city was 48.7% white, 46.6% black or African American, 0.3% Native American, 0.7% Asian, 0.2% Pacific Islander, 1.4% from other races, and 2.2% from two or more races. 4.0% of the population were Hispanic or Latino of any race. There were 13,243 households out of which 31.8% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 36.4% were married couples living together, 23.9% had a female householder with no husband present, and 34.9% were non-families, 30.1% of all households were made up of individuals and 9.5% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.44 and the average family size was 3.03. In the city, the population was spread out with 26.9% under the age of 18, 10.4% from 18 to 24, 27.9% from 25 to 44, 23.0% from 45 to 64, and 11.8% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 33.1 years. For every 100 females, there were 87.7 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 86.0 males. The median income for a household in the city was $33,120, and the median income for a family was $39,417. Males had a median income of $36,827 versus $27,001 for females. The per capita income for the city was $18,883. About 20.3% of families and 23.9% of the population were below the poverty line, including 39.7% of those under age 18 and 13.1% of those age 65 or over. Time zone Although Alabama is legally in the central time zone, Phoenix City's proximity to the larger city of Columbus, Georgia causes Phoenix City including its municipal government and areas within a 10 to 15 mile radius such as Smith Station to observe Eastern Time on a de facto basis. Media. Phoenix City also receives all major television networks and radio stations from nearby Columbus, Georgia. There are, however, three radio stations licensed in Phoenix City, WURYLP 97.1 FM, WHTY 100.1 FM, and WGSY 1460 AM. Topic: <laughs> Sister Cities. Columbia's, France Kamenice, Czech Republic Vastiras, Sweden In popular culture The character, Maggot, from E. M. Nathanson's novel The Dirty Dozen was from Phoenix City. The 1955 film The Phoenix City Story directed by Phil Carlson is a biopic film noir focusing on the rampant crime and corruption in the city then called, "...the wickedest city in the United States", and the 1954 murder of newly nominated Alabama Attorney General candidate Albert Patterson. Scar saxophonist Rolando Alfonso of the Skaterlites had a 1960s hit titled, "...Phoenix City." 
The town gained attention in 1999 when Phoenix City National Little League advanced to the final of the Little League World Series. The city is mentioned in the film Driving Miss Daisy. The city is mentioned in the book The Silence of the Lambs in Chapter 12. The city is mentioned as a former bootlegging city by the character played by Robert Mitchum in the film Thunder Road. The 2008 novel Wicked City by Ace Atkins is set in Phoenix City. Topic Notable people Joe Joe Benson, former R&B singer Hugh A. Bentley, helped reform Phoenix City in the 1950s Simeon Castile, former NFL cornerback Wally Chambers, former NFL defensive tackle Rodney Cooper, basketball player Harvey Glantz, track and field star in 1976 Summer Olympics and 1979 Pan Am Games Aidan Gould, child actor Nolan Gould, child actor Bishop Harris, former head coach of North Carolina Central University football team Freddie Hart, country singer who wrote and recorded, "'Phoenix City'' section of 13th Street named Freddie Hart Parkway in his honor Tim Hudson, Major League Baseball pitcher Billy Jackson, former NFL running back Van Jakes, former NFL cornerback James Joseph, former NFL running back Casey Kicker, Major League Baseball player Boise Kimber, American Baptist minister and civil rights activist Ed King, former NFL offensive guard Herm Lee, former NFL offensive tackle Eddie Lowe, former Canadian Football League linebacker Woodrow Lowe, former NFL player, College Football Hall of Fame member Triandos Luke, former NFL wide receiver Joe Merriweather, former NBA player John Malcolm Patterson, Governor of Alabama from 1959 to 63 Colby Rasmus, Major League Baseball outfielder David Ray, former NFL place kicker Jimmy Spheris, singer-songwriter Rob Spivery, former basketball player and current head basketball coach at Southern University Rufus Stokes, inventor Hugh Camber Williams, football player Derek Eshelman, professional arena football player, first ever MVP for Central Wrestling equals equals gallery